All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here in New Jersey to visit a buddy that I've been dying to visit for so long. We're gonna check out his CLA 45 and all, I don't know if you can see that, and all of the stuff that he's done to this car. This car is sick. It's got a wrap, it's got a stage two, bunch of stuff. So we're gonna go for a little rip. We're gonna do a little photo shoot and uh, we're just gonna have a good time. We'll talk to him about his spec and uh, see if he'll take us for a little drive in it. It's gonna be pretty fun. I've been dying to finally meet a few of these guys that have these AMGs, so we're finally gonna do it. See you later on the uh, on the license plate. Pretty badass. Let's go. What's up guys welcome back to the channel okay so fast forward we were just in the car having a little rip so we got a, a good view of the CLA 45 and all the cracks and pops we're here with Shiraz the owner of the of the car what up what up um, and so we've been if you watch my other videos we've been trying to get together with some of the AMG owners and experience you know some of the awesomeness that this brand sort of has so Shiraz and I are here, you know, we found it an amazing sort of backdrop um, and we're just gonna do a little sort of photo shoot, mm -hmm. capture these cars and then go for a little rip. Um, but Shiraz, I mean, your car is, that's definitely not stock. You've done a, you've done a lot of, on the car. You wanna just quickly run us through some of the some of the, the spec sort of stuff yep. that you've got on there? Yep. Uh, I just got my car wrapped in a 3M satin dark gray, running uh, just red star downpipe. I have a Remus full cat back exhaust. Uh, AMS performance intakes uh, stage two right now, and I'm gonna upgrade me to, to my turbo soon. Okay, so what what kind of horsepower comes stock on those things? Uh, 375, 375 crank and stock. 350 crank torque. 350 torque. Okay. Yep, okay. I haven't so dyno it, but I'm probably close to like 400. 400. Nice. Field. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. With with a, formatic. Yep. With yeah. formatic, I'm running a AMR performance stage two tune. That's huge, man. And then you got the wrap, and you got the all the carbon fiber bits all around. I have a lot of uh, accessories on it as well. While we're talking here, I'm definitely going to be B-rolling it in the video around the car, so you can see how gorgeous the thing is. It's got the Mercedes logo is blacked out, like really nice and tastefully. It's got a couple red little little sort of touches. The, the car looks really, really well done. So. Um, yeah, with, I guess without further ado, we're gonna kind of you know whip around a little bit, do a do a couple little photo shoots here, and uh, experience everything we got. All right, so going for a little ride in the CLA 45. Um, so as we talked about, you know, you've you've done a little bit of work on this, right? It's obviously yep. a little louder, a little more powerful. Um, how long have you had the car for? Uh, just about a year. Just hit a year. About a year. Picked okay. Picked it up last year. Put some solid mileage on it. Kind of, kind of learned a lot about the car. Yep. Listen to that. You know what I noticed right away is you can hear the turbo spool up so much more than my car. You can hear it going. Yep. Yep. No, it just so sucks. much. I'm, I'm an in, I have an intake, so I feel like okay. my car sounds different from the front than it does yeah. from the back. Okay. Running this Remus exhaust, which sounds very crispy for a four cylinder, it's, yeah. it sounds amazing. Um, and then every time you take your foot off, you're getting that crack, 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 crack. God, I, I, I'm dying for that in my car. Yeah, and uh, for some reason, with this setup, it spits flames. I don't have the flame map. God. Uh, yeah, so my friends have told me that, that would be I'm spitting sick. flames, which I don't be, mind, but that would I don't be have amazing. a flame map. Yeah, that would be awesome. God, it pulls hard, eh? Yeah. And you gotta deal with guys like this and yeah. freaking Sunday drivers. Oh, I love that, man. 
Um, but yeah, I just love the drivability, all-wheel drive. That was one of the main reasons I got it. And also, it's fairly good on gas. I never drive my car in comfort, but when I have on a long drive, it's gotten me like 28 miles per gallon. Holy so it's not bad. I mean, usually so I'm doing 16, which is you know what I expected yeah. with the two of them. So, so full disclosure, mine, I just did a video that's about to come to the channel. Make sure you guys watch it. Um, comfort mode with the stop start on, no manual transmission, got me 14.9 oh, and 200, what was it, 240 miles, I think was the tank. And then I did another test where it was race mode and I just finished it up today, I went in. Um, and I was getting 8.8 .8 miles per gallon. And it did like, it did 200 miles or some of that, or 190 miles. So huge, huge difference yeah, in how you're driving this car. And yeah. this is a 13 gallon tank, so like, same issue. I drive it on race mode. Yeah. It's it's done in like three days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Are you in, so you're in race right now? Yep. So I was driving in race mode. And so you got your launch control. Do you have, can yeah. you go on a track pace and like bring up uh, tracks and stuff like that? Yep, like yep, yep, yep. Nice, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, uh, so it's a legit uh, AMG. It's a full blown AMG. Yeah, I'll, I'll actually do a launch control. Here we go, let's somewhere. go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. CLA 45 launch. Someone coming behind us. All right, scratch that. <laughs> just, we'll just give you a pull. <laughs> Has it got like a limited like slip differential or um, does it have like the, the 10 stage traction control you can adjust? Uh, I don't have it. There's no adjustability for that. So mine, mine right here has this thing. If you push it down on there, it has this this dial. Like you know, in the GTRs, yeah, yeah, you can yeah, twist I it. See them. It has it has a similar thing to that where you can turn it. I'm, I'm just afraid to ever mess with it. Yeah. I keep it on kind of five, like half on, half off. Yeah. But I imagine you can get the ass end really coming out. Oh, she goes, eh? Yeah. These are great driving roads. These are amazing These roads, right? Not a lot of people on them. They're well kept. So, any plans going forward? I mean, you've done so much to this car already, I guess. Yeah, Where do you well, go? Um, I'm looking to do a pure turbo upgrade, upgrade, either the 550 or I might do a GTX series turbo, depending. I still am doing my research. Okay. And I'm 100% going to be running ethanol for cooling. Um, a methanol for cooling. Yeah. Um, and running a high pressure fuel pump uh, so I can run like E50 blend. There's uh, some stations nearby here. Okay. Um, so, you know, I'm looking to push around 450 all wheel, uh, whatever I can get, but uh, I feel like that's enough for me and what I do on a day to day. So, yeah, 450 um, all wheel drive is nice. Yeah, right? that's, that's perfect. And, and I'm excited to do that. So, I'll be doing that within the next month or two. So, I I'm see. Really so, I know in the summertime, I didn't have it, but in the wintertime, I'll get all that stuff done. So, for next season, I'll be ready to go. You're ready to rock, man. Good. Well, I appreciate you uh, letting us come out. And experience this thing with you. It's pretty amazing, man. I, I, I love driving it every day. Yeah. yeah. Red seat belts too. I would love to do that in my car actually, the red seat belts. It's a nice so, touch. Yep. Back. Is the back pretty usable? You get you get people back there much? Uh, people there and as tall as us. Yeah, fair enough. there too. Scare the shit out of the C300. <laughs> well, he wants to play. He wants to play. He's got his foot down though. His foot is like that right now. <laughs> his foot is down. Yeah, that's everything he's got. And <laughs> you're just getting started. <laughs> Don't buy a C300. <laughs> He's recording. Is it? Yeah. He's recording. <laughs> oh my god. It sounds like he's got a little exhaust on it. I think he wants you to go. Thank 
Does it crack and pop or uh, crack and pop in Sport Plus as well? Yeah, it does. It does. And Sport? Well, uh, yeah, I can, but I can turn it off. Okay, 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 nice. Well, you got all the boats here. Nice, okay. That's cool. That's sick. That's <laughs> yeah, he was loving it. Just a young guy. <laughs> 18 with the C300. We just destroyed that C300. God. All right guys, so hopefully you enjoyed that. I mean, there's so many amazing drive-bys of both these cars. Um, you know, the interior is a couple cool. You know, we chased down a C300, scare the shit, it's freaking living daylights out of them. Um, yeah, I mean, we got to experience a, a really cool AMG. I've been always really curious about this car. It's lived up to everything I thought about. It's super, super cool. Kind of the future of what AMG is trying to do, right? The, the most powerful four cylinder in the world, right? Really, really cool engine, you know, and this, this guy has done everything you can do to this car. It's a top level sort of spec. So big thanks to my boy here for, uh, for letting us sort of have a go in it and experiencing it and um, Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe, hit like, you know, you know, do the do the damn thing and uh, we'll see you in the next one because we got a lot more cool shit going on with those two bad boys back there. All right? Take it easy.